if you purchase a gadget online like in amazon.com you will see an option for emi like 12 months 24 months and so on and if you pick up the option of emi then you will end up paying more amount than the price and this extra amount is basically the interest and it is in fact calculated based on simple interest concept and to understand how it is let's get into this topic the first term is principal it is the sum or the money which is borrowed or lent out for a certain period of time at a certain rate the second is rate of interest r it is a rate at which money is borrowed or lent out and it is always in percentage the third quantity is time it is the period for which the money is borrowed or lent out then the fourth one is interest it is the extra amount paid on the borrowed or lent out money at a certain rate for a certain period and the last term is amount it is the whole sum paid after using the money and we can think of amount as a sum of principal and interest now the question is how do we calculate the simple interest for this we have a formula and the formula is simple interest is principal into rate into time upon 100 we can write this as si equals prt by 100 if the question asks simple interest we can use this formula or if it is rate of interest then r will be si into 100 by pt and time is simple interest into 100 by pr and principal is simple interest into 100 by rt so basically the other permutations whatever possible with this particular formula okay now let's look into the different types of questions asked from this particular topic types of questions the first one is direct formula based questions so these are the basic format the second one is two schemes with different rate of interest so the question comes with scheme a scheme b a has some interest and b has some other interest and we need to calculate so that is the second category third is different interest rates for different years and the last one a mix bag questions or i can say it as miscellaneous questions okay let's try out with the first type that is direct formula based questions what amount a man would have received on a principal of rupees 4000 after 2 years at simple interest at the rate of 5% per annum and few options are there to solve this let me write the given data the principal is rupees 4000 time is 2 years the rate is 5% and we are supposed to calculate the amount now we already know simple interest is prt by 100 that's 4000 into 
into 2 by 100 that is basically rupees 400 then amount is principal plus simple interest that is 4000 plus 400 that's rupees 4400 therefore option is c now instead of doing it in this lengthy process we could speed up if we can do the mental calculation something like this look at the rate and time simple interest is p r t by 100 so we are multiplying r into t so 5 into 2 is basically 10 then 10 by 100 it is p by 10 that p by 10 means 4000 by 10 that is 400 so till here we could have done it mentally no need to put the pen on the paper then they are asking the amount so add this 400 to the principal that is 4400 so without using pen if you are good at the calculations then you could have done it directly so whichever is convenient you can go in that format okay here we have another question the simple interest occurred on an amount at the end of five years at 12.5 percent is rupees 1575 what is the amount now again let me write the given data time is five years interest rate is 12.5 percent and the simple interest is rupees 1575 and we are supposed to calculate the principal now we know simple interest is prt by 100 or p is simple interest into 100 by rt so when we substitute it is 1575 into 100 by 12.5 into 5 that is 157500 by 62.5 or if you do a little bit of uh, division this is 126 into 20 that is rupees 2520 therefore option d now again in this if you are carefully observe there is a denominator with decimal and doing this calculation would be hectic so here we can use a little bit of shortcut so let's try that simple interest is prt by 100 just focus on this r by 100 so r by 100 is basically 12.5 by 100 this if you solve this will be 1 by 8 so if i go back and substitute it is 1575 is equals to x into 1 by 8 into 5 so 5 and this can be cancelled 315 times so x will be 315 into 8 that is rupees 2520 a better way of calculating it so that was type 1 questions hope you are able to pick up the concept